What do you mean? Well, my team and I were on a mission, and uh, we got into some trouble. Our ship got knocked into one of those uh, those disruptions. A wormhole. Yes. We crash landed back on Earth twelve thousand years ago. So you traveled back in time by accident. Which is exactly why we couldn't just go home. So we went to cryo sleep and set the ship to wake us up when we returned to the thirty first century. But then the torpedo hit the ship and damaged the ship, and that's when I woke up. But do you think we can fix it? Can you help us get home? We'll do everything in our power to help. But for now, I'm gonna kill you. You don't. You don't scare me. You are no god. Just as I'm no devil. All I am is truth <laughs> and judgment. Death, and I will reign. <sighs> She'll be okay. What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on Supergirl season three. So I hope you all had a good Christmas period and New Year's Eve and New Year's. So I'm gonna bring a new Supergirl video to you guys because I've made two and they are being received very well in the comment section. So everyone is excited for Supergirl returning very soon to our TVs. So the last episode we got ended with Kara Lyon still in a pile of broken concrete almost felt reminiscent of the death of superman the show ends with kara barely hanging on to her life i do not think the show are going to kill kara off but they have broken her physically and beaten her so bad that she's suffering from emotional pain which is so powerful and such a strong way to end Supergirl season three mid season finale. It was so powerful and strong. And the video clips I showed before are going to correlate to the actual video. So the cliffhanger was so major and it's gonna go on to the points I'm gonna bring up now. Did mon -El return due to what's coming next? So what I'm gonna say here is I think Rain isn't the only world killer. So. CW made it clear at Comic-Con that Rain is going to be the villain, but I think they're going to do what the comic books did. And there is five members of the World Killers. So we've only seen Rain. So it will make sense for the other four World Killers to show up in Supergirl Season 3 at some point. Now, just Rain alone nearly destroyed Supergirl. So I think this is why the Legion of Superheroes, led by mon -El, came back, ironically, at the point just before Rain to complete Annihilator to save her, I will go on. So Kara needs doesn't need more of a challenge. She's already faced Rain and Rain beat so bad. So you could say that the other world killers are coming and maybe that's the reason why Monel came back. Now a move like this would have to prompt Superman to come in and help potentially but I think due to all the things going on behind the scenes at DC um, with Justice League and everything else, I don't think this will actually be the case. So, mon has been away for seven years and he's now married to Saturn Girl, played by Am Amira, Amira, from the 31st century. So he went seven years into the future and in our time it's only been six months. Now, isn't it a bit ironic how, if you remember the first clip, how they were on a mission and somehow they jumped and something went wrong and they ended up on Earth and then they ended up in a cryosphere and the missile woke them up just before Rain attacked. And everything so far about mon -El and Saturn Girl has been very sketchy. The fact that they are married and are boyfriend and girlfriend is very sketchy. And based on Amy Jackson's recent comments, I think there's a lot to Saturn Girl and mon -El that we haven't seen. Maybe it's a foreshadowing that the darkness is coming, as Rain says, and that the world killers are maybe coming because they spoke about the 30th century, saying it's complete savage, it's complete war all the time. So maybe they're referring to, in the 31st century, seven years ahead, that the world killers are at large and 
they're fighting just to keep the peace now i don't know maybe that's that it's a theory it's not my theory it's been going around reddit and a couple other sites that all the world killers are coming that monel and satin girls aren't really married that monel came back on purpose to do this and he was very sketchy when he came out he had to get back to the ship didn't want to connect with her and you could tell by the ending scene where Sanga goes, she'd be all right. And it looks like Supergirl's nearly dead. Now this ties in with the synopsis for the Legion of the Superheroes episode. Now that's episode 10, which returns very soon. So it says this, meet the Legion struggling to heal from her injuries inflicted by rain. Supergirl is remains in a dreamlike state, unable to reach mon -El. Unable to be reached, sorry. mon -El recruits one of the members of Legion members, Brainiac 5 guest star so that means he won't be on it that much to try and bring her back meanwhile rain continues her rampage on the city and the do teams up with the legion of superheroes to stop her so it's a bit it's a bit ironic guys that monel just happens to have someone on his ship brainiac 5 who i can't wait to meet who can supposedly bring her back it's just a bit odd how rain attacks monel and the legion of superheroes turn up and they can help her because the Dio's medical team can't help her. I strongly think that the world killers are coming. And Rain is only the start. Now, I'm so such a fanboy this season. It's so cool. I don't want Rain to go away. I have no idea where the storyline's going. I really like Satin Girl. It's going to be interesting because the Caramel fans are kind of they're twisted. People like Caramel do like Satin Girl. They want her to stay around. So it's going to be very interesting but the fact that it says guest star brainiac 5 generally when they write guest star that means that they're not going to be around for that long so it's going to be very interesting when supergirl does return so guys let me know in the comment box down below do you think monel returned on purpose now i know he said it was a, a mission that went wrong and then the missile hit their ship and that's how they woke up early and how satin girl nearly died but supergirl punched the dwarf glass out i think monel returned for a reason they know what happened seven years into the future they have history they can look it up something's coming the world killers or potentially are coming now i think that's where this storyline's going and it is a very strong and seeing as how much hate i put on the show last year i'm totally loving this season of supergirl so let's get lots of conversations going down below all your theories what's going to happen with caramel what's going to happen with satin girl why did legion superhero turn up is rain the only world killer are the world killers coming i really think they're acting strong chris woods acting that episode samantha no not that's not a real name can't really remember her real name but the girl playing rain so cool minister ben ice i just can't say anything bad about mid-season finale and i can't wait for this show to run to return so anyway guys please like subscribe and comment that would be awesome would help the channel grow join team war stew in the warheads down below by hitting that bell button and i will see you in another video very soon guys i'm trying my best to kind of have a good mix of dc content uh, Marvel MCU content and just just bring everything back but go back to the roots of reviewing all the DC shows when they come back anyway guys I will see you in another video very soon guys catch ya later